Hey guys, Firequester here. Welcome to another DVD update. Don't know why I saluted there. Let's get this bitch on the road. Smash! A crow flies straight. A perfect line. First up is um, actually a VHS. Um, I don't usually show VHS because I don't usually buy them. Obviously, they're kind of obsolete now. But um, I guess some people could say the same about DVD, but I had to have it. It's Pokemon, the first movie. Um, <laughs> I totally saw it in a, a charity shop for 20p and I was like, mine. Yeah, it's Pokemon, the first movie. I've got Pokemon 2 and 3 movies on um, DVD. I showed them before, but this is the first one. I think this, I remember this one being the best and I'm not sure I've seen three. And it has a little Pikachu movie on there too, like the other ones. Um, then we have Dumbo 70th Anniversary Special Edition. This is just the DVD. Um, one disc. Um, as you know, I love Disney films, so I'm constantly trying to buy the ones that are in print. And Beauty and the Beast comes out the 1st of November. I've got it like uh, in my brain. Dumbo, I haven't really watched it, I mean, since I got it. But I remember it being great, as always. Um, and a little bit scary as well when I was a kid. Is that is that just me or do other kids find it a little bit scary? Um, legend. On the spine now they're doing this, which is kind of cool. Fourth um, thing, although it's annoying because it's like inconsistent because that's... Now they've started doing this and it won't be on the other ones. But this was Disney's fourth uh, movie. Um, and it's great. I love Dumbo. So that's Dumbo. And then we have another movie. My Girl. Um, I haven't really watched this either. I'm terrible. Uh, but this... I remember it being great. Yeah, although a little weird thing. There's a My Girl 2, for those who didn't know that. Because I only found that out recently. But... The spine, the picture on the spine is from My Girl 2, which is kind of strange. This is the disc. This was one ninety nine in home base, which I was like, sweet. Writing that. It's weird because I had a copy that was three ninety nine and a bunch that was one ninety nine. I was like, mm. and that little girl is just the cutest, and she she just, uh, she's cute, 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 cute. cute. Then the rest, televisual box set. ER Season 9 Um, yeah, got it Shh, discs <laughs> That's pretty Didn't expect that Just came off Keep it closed ER Season 9 This is the first Dr. Greenless season Um, which is sad But, whatever I haven't watched this I've watched up to Season 7 and I just, I've got this to fill in the gap between 8 and 9 so I can watch it when I get to it. That's, that's that. I, I can't really say anything about it. I do, I like AR a lot. Then we have John from Cincinnati, the complete series. This is an HBO series um, that David Milch created of Deadwood fame. Uh, discs. I found a lot of mixed things about this, but I decided to get it anyways when I saw it. This seems to be uh, like Marmite, basically. People just absolutely loathe it and think it's a train wreck, or people think it's fucking brilliant and shouldn't have been cancelled. Um, that's the vibe I'm getting from the reviews anyways. Um, I don't really know what it's about, and apparently it's kind of hard to figure out what it's about if you've even watched it. There's a man floating on the cover, so something floating. Uh, comes with two audio commentaries from David Milch and Decoding John, the making of the dream sequence behind the scenes of episode 6. <laughs> Sounds intriguing. John from Cincinnati. Not top of my list, but I'll get to it eventually. I'll get to it. Then we have Pushing Daisies, second season. Um, what can I say about Pushing Daisies? Or Pushing Up Daisies, as Scott likes to call it. Um... This is a great show. Real, real shame it got cancelled. I didn't see all the season two, so that's um, so I've still got episodes to watch. Um, yeah, I lost track about halfway through, so I've got about half a season two to watch. But I'll just watch it all over again. Maybe season one as well. You got 
full of discs. Oh, check it out. A dog gets a disc again. I mean, <laughs> what? I love it. I just love it. Come back to television, Brian Fuller. We miss you. I know it's not been very long, but please make some more shows. Then we have, oh, I love the show. I love it, I love it, I love it. Sons of Anarchy, season one. This was fucking amazing. Took a few episodes to get going in terms of like storytelling, but oh my goodness. Oh, they were still quite good though. Um, but it was sexual. Oh. This is the guy, Kurt Sutter created this, who was a writer on The Shield. So if you like The Shield, watch this. Um, or even if you, if you don't, it's about a biker gang who run guns. But, you know, and it's more about family and sort of uh, friendship, I guess. Um, and uh, Katie Siegel, is it? Uh, the sort of the queen biker, as it were. She is amazing in the show. She steals it. She is awesome. Um, it's, I definitely highly, highly recommend Sons of Anarchy. I was going to call it True Blood there for a minute. Skinny ass bitch. <laughs> and we have Psych Season 1. Um, yeah, this was five quid, so I just bought it off Amazon. That's, that's what I do now. So there's a cheap TV series. It doesn't matter if I'm just not even interested in watching it particularly. It comes in uh, these three slip cases. Special features are deleted scenes, audio commentaries, blooper reels, yada 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 yada. This, I've seen one episode of this, I quite enjoyed it. It's a sort of procedural, fun little procedural type show. Um, that's Psych Season 1. Playback, playback. It didn't take the features off. That's nice. Next one is one that people will be going, I, what? Scratching their heads over, not quite sure why I bought it, because I never talk about it ever. <laughs> it's Buffy, season four. Now, I know I have all the seasons, but I saw this today for uh, used, um, at this like stall, I've talked about it before, at near Sainsbury's. Oh, Bible packaging, must have. Um, it's is yeah but it's like this oh the packaging is awesome scott has them all he showed them before but they had a couple seasons and i bought this one because my season four is region one so when, next time i do a rewatch or any time i want to watch season four episodes um i can watch them in my room because my player in my room is not multi-region that's me justifying it so yeah it comes in this kind of this awesome case um Although, the annoying thing is that this is in widescreen, Buffy is supposed to be in full screen, that that's shown, so that's kind of annoying, but never mind. Season 4, these are just awesome packages, aren't they? They're so cool, but they're hard to get back in the thing, I've realised. Oh, I did it, I did it! That's been my DVD, and I guess, slash VHS update. I um, hope you enjoyed, that's getting heavy, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace, that was 30 minutes shit.